Hello and welcome to Sunset Over Three Barrel Cove for what will be our level 7 episode of Purple Rain, our uh, storm singer life. We are beginning to look like a storm singer now. We've acquired our first uh, electric spell, lightning bolt, which reminds me quite a bit of the sun bolt that we had as a spell-like ability in our favoured soul life. Same thing like a straight ray going through multiple targets if you line them up right. So that can be very nice. Very uh, immersive as well, getting into the, the swing of the uh, electric theme. So that's nice. Uh, other spells taken at seven, we got displacement, very good for defences. And also um, invisibility for when you want to avoid uh, awkward situations. Um, the two, if I didn't mention before, I think I did, the two previous electric spells. As a storm singer, you get access to one per level. You still have to select them from your options on level up, but you get one per level that you can pick. Level one, as I think I mentioned, was shocking grasp touch range not amazing so I left that alone level 2 electric loop I think it hits up to three targets and can give a daze I tried it the damage was very modest at best and the daze was nowhere near as good as what we were getting from sound burst so I left that to one side as well so this is the first real one I think we're going to get some mileage from the lightning bolt speaking of lightning bolts our lightning bolt from our enhancement tree this little baby is beginning to hit quite nicely it's uh, enhanced by that and I've seen it hitting for 200 plus so beginning to get uh, pretty good we might as well do the enhancements while we're here so we've still got just enough in here for the shout spell like ability still using the Nyax Cold Ray. Now that, that can hit pretty hard. I've seen it, uh, in fact we've just done the fire caves here in Three Barrel and I've seen it hit for a thousand against fire vulnerable creatures. So that's not terrible by any means. Obviously it's got the meta magics on it but still worth a try but it is frustrating when the opponents save and nothing happens. And there is quite a bit um, undead, notably, that are just completely immune. So there's that to consider. Um, we've got to a decent stage now in the spell singer tree as well. We've got these two cores now for more spell DCs. And this one in particular, I think, gives more than the listed 2% crit chance. I have a feeling it might even give up to 7 crit chance with sonic and positive we could check that couldn't we uh, no it, uh, it hasn't it, uh, at least not according to that positive crit I don't have an item for so I think that has given two and two hasn't it okay but in any case, we've got uh, extra DC there, and here, and there. And there'll be another one coming with this one. As well as a, a discount on uh, spell point costs, which will be nice. I think I will take that, and then... Uh, then we have a choice. We can go for... We can switch that one to a snowball swarm like ability for another source of AOE and put that one as the shout that's an option or we can go all out in here uh, put six points into these and get um, just maximize everything it might be a bit too early for that but uh, we'll see nice to have options anyway and I'm happy with the way things are going we're, we're still leaning heavily on our shout spell-like ability, backed up by these three now. These two are spell-like abilities, so fully meted. I've not put any metas on the lightning bolt. Um, what else?
ones have we got to note? I added, uh, Bard obviously are amazing at uh, UMD. They've got Charisma as their main skill, which is the UMD one. And also UMD is a class skill for them. So as soon as uh, we took level seven, we can get uh, a decent chance to do, well, in this case, because he has a tome of UMD as well, he has 100% on teleport and raise dead, which is great. Although unfortunately running solo, he can't raise himself. <laughs> but you never know, in the fullness of time, it, we might find one or two to uh, run along with. Uh, I did actually find, you know, I was moaning through most of the past life, uh, not finding any arty suitable gear. Well, that strikes me as reasonable for an early level artificer. That's come from the salt marsh. We only did one or two quests in there this time. I uh, So I was pleased to get that. I did do the four in Kundarak for the bank space, the four level fives in there. He did very nicely in there. Apart from the fact I'd forgotten to add the materials for the level three spells, so we were without those. And invisibility as well takes a level 2 material, which I've put on the bar here. If you weren't familiar with that, most of you probably are. For the times when you actually need uh, materials, often when you get into the epic destinies, um, those have issue materials in the cores with the draconic thing. But uh, for when you actually need them and you need to see when they're going low so you need to restock, it's nice to put them on the bar so you can see those levels. And then when you have two or three going low, just go to the portable hole and restock. Um, Gear-wise, we have made some changes. There were some nice bits of gear for this build in the dinosaur area the um, Isle of Dread expansion. These two pieces are pretty rare in terms of giving insightful spell powers before level 10 when you could Kenneth craft them. So that's very good. And if you look there, we've got all the three that we're interested in. Resonance, Glaciation, Magnetism, Cold, Sonic, Electric. So that's awesome. And then there's the other piece that seems to go with it, the ring. Resonance, Glaciation, Magnetism. So we've got uh, a nice boost to the spell power on those three. I did lose one uh, DC for only having five pieces now of the Feywild set. But I think we can live with that, especially as we gained one anyway from this core. So those two are particularly nice. Now we have anyway spell focus mastery on the um, crown of snow. So we didn't really need uh, the two that are on the ring of the sea. But the insightful one here does help us because we lost the amber pendant from there which had the same. Um, is there anything else I have? added to the gear. I thought I had, but maybe not. No, I think that was it. All things being equal, I would have put the Secrarium Suncatcher as well, which is another great level 7 item for the helm, for a Profane 2 bonus to uh, a spell DCs. But um, I have a Ruby of sn uh, sorry, a sapphire of snow peaks speed slotted in there, which is a level eight. So I, c I have to wait till level eight to wear that. The reason I've put it in there and boosted up its level is that uh, it's an item I will wear until the cap, so I won't constantly have to replace my speed item. So I thought that would be a nice place to put it. I think that about does it for the waffle. I thought I might take you for a little wander through the Three Barrel Cove this time. And it looks like I was wrong. It was uh, dawn breaking, not uh, sunset, as I mentioned. Okay. 
we've done the fire caves as I already mentioned the two quests in there so I thought we could go and have a look at the rest of them starting with the uh, very well known quest the legend of Tuto Tobias made so by the fact the that the epic version of it drops the ships very elusive and, and very Radio sought after um, cursed blade the of jack jibbers which allows you to recover uh, Tobias, seemingly lost situations legend. when you've when you've all died An underwater breathing item in here is mm, nice to have, but n certainly not essential. <laughs> so DC's wise, our sound burst is on a 31, not terrible for the level. Not amazing, but okay. And the three spell powers that we're bothered about are all over 200 with our little boost that we've just given ourselves. So Sonic, Cold and Electric are over 200 and the crit chance is 25 plus on all three. So that's a really good position to be in, I think, at this level. The cacophony of wailing and moaning becomes clearer as you enter the cave. An opening in so that, the that's why I say it's not essential, the underwater breathing item. There are ample opportunities to just bob up and take a breath, should it be needed. The valve triggers a rush of water through the pipes, followed by the sound of a door opening. This can be a bit fiddly, getting back through this uh, gap here. Just adjust the camera so you can see where you're going. be an idea to get rid of those, don't want any silly dungeon alert. God, bats. The bane of my life on a ranged character. That was pathetic, oh dearie me. Really bad. Okay. We could have taken Cure Serious at uh, 7, but I'm thinking we're alright with this Cure Moderate. We just use it to top up after fight. Any kind of uh, situations in combat, and we can't really heal that well through it, but you could say that for many classes, especially early on. A strong current pushes against you. just got rid of the um, sonic traps in here if you have evasion chances are you can just wander straight through those Self. These are immune to our cold. The only cold spells the Storm Singer actually gets, to my knowledge anyway, we've got the um, 
Nyak's called Ray very low down the tree as a spell like ability. You hear doors the close snowball swarm you. You as a tier trapped. 3 possibility for a spell like ability, which to me is totally uh, s uh, second best to the shout. But you can't take shouting both spell singer and storm singer trees, so you might reach a stage where you're contemplating. Uh, using the snowball swarm for a little bit when leveling perhaps we'll test it out and see if i'm right and the last one which is not a spell like ability is granted um as part of a tier five in the storm singer tree iceberg which is an awesome uh, single target damage spell Storm Singer does get um, as a level 6 electric spell Thunderstroke which is another amazing single target spell like a reaper deletion button very good oh I was trying for the double didn't get it Oh, hello. Is he immune to electric or did he just save there? Oh, silly boy. Oh, we froze him though. The, the crown, the crown we're wearing can sometimes uh, produce a freeze. The, the cerulean wave it's called. Icy magic. A bit like the... Um, Ruby of the snow peaks can do if you slot it in a, a weapon. With the electrocution, we're up into the two thirties spell power. Electrocution can give us um, up to 25 more. Um, oh yes, love it, love it. Up to 25 more sonic, cold and electric spell power when we use um, those types of spells, which is all the time obviously. And I do love that um, that lightning bolt thing, the animation, that crackling that you get, and the fact it can uh, chain several opponents. I just cast Featherfall because we don't have it anymore on the gear, at least for now. But the bard does get it as a spell anyway. See, there's a passage on the map there. A frigid cold cuts through your body as you see a frozen river below. The source of the cold air is coming from this room. The fire jets melt the ice, allowing you to continue your search. I think this is de definitely device. one I spent uh, a fair long time in trying to suss it out the first time I did it. Trying to find the uh, valves to open the way forward. One nice thing you can do. If you're stuck in an area and not sure how to go on, just hit your backspace key and it'll highlight all the in interactables like levers and valves and things. The second that might give you a, a clue as reaction, to what you need to do to which progress. Opens the door to the rest of the dungeon. Oh, we've got a ladder here, haven't we? A little shortcut out. A 
avoid having to swim back all the way. Happy days. I like how the, the lightning bolt as well, just like the uh, thunder snow cookies we were using before, can also trigger um, the extra lightning effect from our cause of the storm singer tree. the shrine I think we'll get away with it again there. It definitely reminds me of the start of our favoured soul life, that with the sunbolt chaining the, the targets together. Levers appear on opposite sides of the room, adorned with bullseyes. So this is our um, very cheap and cheerful Sonic Blast spell-like ability, and that's still hitting for uh, well over a hundred, so that's nice. <coughs> My treasured little dart for such occasions. As the lever flips back, the floor opens. This valve is very easy to miss. It opens up the um, this section so you can swim on. The door before yeah, you that's open. our destination. I'll try and demonstrate for those of you who have a high enough jump. You can jump up onto oh. I don't think I can reach it, but you can jump up onto there and uh, fight from up there and be out of the way of all the, the supposed uh, urban legend speaks to you. It's all the major action. Someone found me. I have not the legend of two toad Tobias was not just and an as urban just shown legend. there, if you Although kill the the boss guy, you um Eliminate all the others, so it's a good idea to focus on that. The Weeping Cove is rumored okay. to be a resting place of Two Toad Tobias, an ancient three barrel legend. is going to run on for a bit as there are quite a few quests here but maybe I have a few credits in the bank as th uh, in terms of running on because uh, the opening episodes were quite short by my standards especially the waffle now here if you're lucky you can get a rare spawning is it uh, no it's not you there that's it Kind of near stream, Stringy. And if you're really lucky, this chest can produce the Runearm, Stringy's Hand Cannon, which is a very nice uh, early level Runearm to use. Of course, we didn't get it. I do actually have one, though. So my, my problem with the Artificer business is, because we'd like to do a Caster Artificer in time, my problem is the what to use between that level 5 one and the 24 one I got from the uh, Crystal okay. Cove event. I literally have nothing as far as I'm aware to, to use. So I'm on the lookout for, for nice things. That's why I've backed the Artificer's life right down in the 
and the running order towards the end. So hopefully by then, without farming, because I just hate farming, we'll be able to um, at least have something half decent to use in the middle of the light. The grotto is warm and damp. The sound of dripping water surrounds you, and a faint, musky odor hangs. Oh, don't want hit him by that. He didn't take much from that, did he? Now that could do with going. See, when it actually hits the... Uh, the um, ice, look at that. That was the ice attack. It hits quite hard when it does hit. So maybe it makes up for the... Uh, at least to some degree. For the fact that they can save and take no damage. With the... The damage it can p it can do potentially if they don't make the save. Look at that one shot. I still prefer the sonic uh, blast for the possibility um, of the days, just to give you a bit of extra leeway. Don't do like I've done in the past and forget the eggs in this quest because you'll end up having to go all the way back and it's just annoying. Oh, and do show more respect than I did there to the warlocks. They can cast uh, the hold spell and they are extremely dangerous for that. We have no freedom of movement uh, item, so our only defense against the hold is the one use of the Harper pin. Should that happen. Oh, hello. I think it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in here. So we've got a, a warlock either side on the top level. So top priority is to try and get rid of those buggers. Huge echoing vault was once the hideout of Charles the Grey. Just try and keep moving. I think he tried to hit us with a... He tried to hit with the uh, hold spell there. They use it a lot. Let's just heal before we go any further. That's nice. get our eggs oh here they come oh what happened there I guess he moved the bugger two versions of this quest to do in Heroic. To my mind at least, the first version, although lower level, is infinitely more difficult than the second. The second one, this room for example, is completely empty. I think, oh no, no. Let's try and do a chain there. Yes! Missed it. That was a bit poor. And he saved against our uh, cold there. Uh, oh, that's crap. I tried to wait for us to be out of combat and get the best from our healing. It doesn't always work. Hidden now we're going to have to be aware of the drop the potential here. Use the feather for. We've got a minute only. They are saving quite regularly against the cold one, which is less than ideal, but it's only cheap and cheerful anyway. Let's see how far we can shoot this thing. Oh, wow. Okay. Could I 
probably use this to hit the eight. Yeah, okay. That's better than running halfway around the map, isn't it? I don't know if there are... Let's make sure we don't run out of this. I don't know if there are more eggs over there. I don't think so. I know there are some more on the floor. We'll get those once we've dealt with all this stuff. Ooh. That was a... That was one we really needed to make. Okay. Bane, I don't think we can counter that, can we? We'd have to have something with Bless. I did have a, a, a clickable item with Bless, but uh, I no longer have it. been completely ignoring the displacement spell that's because I've just got it it's going to take me a bit to adjust so let's uh, get some mileage out of that shall we without the shrine. Famous last words. Not going to go all crazy and go running in there. I think we'll invite them to come to us if they want to do. Might just hide round here and assassinate them as they close with us. That was pretty good. We've got one either side still, yeah. Nice job. Here in this sea flooded we'll just break the rest of the, the eggs and we should be done. Eggs. Sputtering greasy slime, the last of the troglodyte's eggs ruptures. The breeding grounds are destroyed. I think I'll just do a quick recall because I think that point we just got will allow us to get the uh, really nice enhancement in the spell singer tree. The um, what's it called? The thing with the the blue thing with the musical note. That was a good technical description, wasn't it? A cave extends deep into the rock behind this waterfall. Recall. We're going to come straight back here because there is a second uh, quest. Now, you can do them back to back. We could have just walked straight, turned around and gone straight back in there, which is what I would normally do if I wasn't uh, fishing for this thing. So that's what we want. Lower um, spell point cost and plus one morale b bonus to spell DCs. Now, that means I must have a, a song to sing that I haven't yet put on the bar. I don't know quite at what level the bard gets that. That one, is it? I think it must be that one. Okay. So I'll add that to our things. So let's just test it. So at the moment we're on a 32 there. Ah oh yeah, it's popped up on the bar there, hasn't it? and 33 that's super nice so we've, we've got not only have we got that extra dc we've got a 10 percent discount on spell costs which at this level is pretty big isn't it i don't uh, know of any item that that can give that around this level so happy days on that i think what i'm going to try and do now as mentioned i'm going to try and stack up these uh Six points in here for for double maximize efficiency, and yeah, because the appeal of throwing around maximized uh, lightning bolts is quite something. Let's just uh, 
if I talk to the gal's tomb quest giver up here, I think we should be able to teleport back there. Going on game, okay. Yeah, if you're ever wanting to farm that Strinty's hand cannon, it is a very good, probably the best early level rune arm for an arty type to use. When you've completed the uh, Tobias, sorry, the Gal's Tomb quest, you can just, uh, or the Tobias one, you can just walk round like we did. You could just teleport near to the Gal's Tomb, wander out of this area, and straight away you're in the place where that uh, Captain Skeleton thing spawns. I don't advocate farming, as you know, but uh, that that one Arcade is probably a relatively easy farm, especially if you've, you've got more than one of you going for it. more seasoned bard in the bear parties mastered the art of tumbling to do quick songs. <laughs> it's not something I've ever done. She does look the strange tumbling all over the place, changed. giving the buffs at the, the start of the quest. The strangely cold now, and the scent of all the has replaced the troglodyte's must. Nice one. I thought we could get them with cold. Just certain jellies that are immune, isn't it? Oh, hello. Okay. Something hit us hard there, didn't it? I think the fact I'm remembering the displacement now could be a double-edged sword because it's going to tax us quite a lot in terms of spell points. So I'm going to need, at this early stage, with it lasting quite short, to either beg for souls like I obviously the just did there, or um, so activate it only when we uh, are about to go into a tricky situation, which would probably be preferable one to hear. Oh, missed him. Okay. No eggs or anything to remember in this one. And as the mentioned, this room, this time around, is completely empty. The vault. It's oh, always struck me, this, this second one, as something sort of half-finished. I mean, why, why have a completely empty room like this? And it's not the only one. I think the there is another room, the room towards the end with the three levers to pull. That's almost completely empty this time too. I did say almost. Oh, come on. I tried to hit two. I didn't do a very good job of hitting one there, did I? I think here I like to use the invis just Unholy to avoid whatever can come out of the these things. Gull's wrath has corrupted them. 
They must be dis the stone here is as mentioned, there's nothing in here at all, as far as I remember. Rot. Maybe something at the very far door. You're just free to go and do the, uh, the levers unmolested. So to me, if you contrast the two, the first one is easily the tougher. Something here, yes. The whispering voice speaks again. Well, that was nicely uh, lucky. Oh, I didn't get the Reaper though, did I? I thought I'd just timed the sound burst to get the Reaper, but I hadn't. Okay, let's just take a moment and give ourselves some health back. I think Reapers might actually have true sight, do they? So they just ignore displacement anyway. So why are we not healing properly, game? I don't think there's anything combat-wise going on here, is there? No, it's not giving us the proper healing. Okay, now that's uh, that's pretty bad, isn't it? So let's uh, see if we can hammer them from distance. Nice. The air here is so cold that frost rhymes. I think we're going to get a load of things popping up the here. Aren't we? Seems to have come from beneath the yeah. Oh, these things are tough. shooting oh why why do you shoot cold against undead come on okay now surely you must give me a proper heal this time yes okay let's prepare properly The lock on the door here looks complex, but you might be able to open it with the proper key. A chest gleams in the frozen light. This is Grey Carl's lost hoard. As the chest opens, a frigid wind sucks the last warmth of the room. Old Grey Carl. <sighs> Coming Reaper ate it there, didn't he? His loot. With the despairing nice, shriek, nice, nice. old grey garl dissolves like a pestilent vapor, the cold suffusing the air begins so to as we're going through, I'm more than conscious of the fact that in stark contrast to our last life, we're not having to actively engage any of this stuff to kill it, and it's being so much... Uh, less of a bumpy ride a for that extends deep into the rock behind this waterfall so they really do have it uh, much easier on that front the casters not only do they get the aoe possibilities many of them very early in the life like this excellent shout spell like ability we've got but they're not having to close right up to do the damage, so they're not taking anything in return, or much less than a melee would have to. That uh, that monk life really did open my eyes to the uh, some of the struggles that the melee face. A small building stands curiously alone. Same in the as um, of the helping our bear 
developing her bear character. That bear is actually the only a, a second life, I think. She does have some epic lives too, be but aware uh, of every step you take. I say it's a second life, it's doing very well. I've been learning plenty. I might I might have to do we yeah, we do we have done a druid life already on here as a blight caster, but uh Maybe I could try and do a, a melee bear to try and understand it a bit more. I think um, one of the things I would probably like to do, because I like my tactics and crowd control, I know she has quite a bit on trip and stun. And I would probably, rather than going pure, maybe try the one fighter, one favoured soul, 18 druid, something like that, to get the... Uh, Wisdom trans for a nice boost to the tactics DC. Note to self use a sonic blast for the damn box. Come on. much as this sonic blast really hurt us in that uh, Crypt of Gerard Dryden quest here it's going to be a huge help. Oh hello. barrels. The number of times I've blown either myself or a fellow party member up in those damn things. Can I collect that? Yeah. Nice, got the dog and the barrels. Happy days. system of ladders leads up the shaft agility and physical this can be a bit of a actually I've, uh, I think I've probably just sealed my own fate here I haven't put featherfall on <laughs> be interesting to see whether you can do it without I don't think we can I think the best plan might be to just jump out here oh no Oof. okay Let's try that again. Don't try without feather fall in this section. <coughs> so the second thing, we have just a minute to make it to the top before everything uh, goes wrong again. Now that could be a bit tight. This is one of the least favourite sections of our uh, bear. She's really not keen on messing about with this ladder section. And I can understand why it's a bit fiddly. I think time-wise, we are going to be struggling here, aren't we? Just got to keep looking for for the next one above going up. Sometimes it's it's the one opposite behind you. Sometimes uh, you have to uh, just jump to the side, to either side. 
we may just make it here nine eight seven six quickly go for it good stuff your muscles are worn and weary we have sent up the agility the fetid stench of so yes without further fall that one is definitely a bit of a chore Small amount of lag there. You survived the war forged ambush. Now the constructs cease to exist. This is another section where we'll need the feather fall. The floor opens up to reveal an elaborate obstacle. But I can press shift to fall faster when when wanted. Okay, let's get the old uh, traps, Sonic the thing going for all these boxes. Only your wit can solve this conundrum. Actually, I'm silly. I have a, a Sonic Blast standard spell as well that I've not been using, so I could. That's very cheap as well. Makes things a bit quicker. Happy days. Okay, so the meat of this puzzle, first thing to do, just to make it make a sort of a cohesive line. So we go like this way and down and then connecting to that like that and then down like a like a staircase, something like that. Pull the, the north one, the top one, as you look at it. And then just fire the green lever. The other components in the Wrong one. <laughs> you just fire, fire this one. To be a reset mechanism. So the first one you fire is this one. This lever fires a and now, this green one is used is to set that mechanism. one back to its original state, like it said. And all we do then is like the south one as we look at it the bottom one instead of the top one and just pull the this one again if we hadn't had so much lag you might even have seen it working and there you can see the door's the going to open was no match for your sharp wit. the portcullis rumbles open That's one of my least favourite uh, elements of the lower levels, the short duration of all the buffs and having to constantly recast, but still better to have them than not. I suppose one could say it's part of the charm as well of the early things. So where are we at with the breakables? I hope Mikey doesn't watch this. If he ever sees me in a quest doing, what, 200 plus breakables, yeah, <laughs> he's going to be... Uh, why can't you do these all the time? Now that is one tough cookie. There's no way to stop it, unfortunately. Nice. I should totally have had the displacement on there. I bet if that would have hit us, it would have made a, a hell of a mess. Rackham's Inferno will take precision and cunning to overcome. Have we still not got the bonus here? Oh, we have. Okay. Now, on heroic at least, you can... Oh, hang on. Jump a bit. You can totally avoid having to go through all the, the traps by just jumping up here and pulling the lever. In you the epic version, the I think there's no alternative but to go through all the, the traps. And the traps are pretty nasty on the epic one too. Oh, I was going for the double lightning and it just doesn't want to happen, does it? 
don't go down that hole, I think that's trapped. Okay, now just uh, from memory, run for the loot as quick as you can, local tavern, double the share of a crewmate, and yes, we're looking for a swashbuckle. Now that Carnage Reaper did pop up at just the right time to be hit by the the sonic, the sound burst rather. So for those of you not familiar with this quest, you've two choices then with Meeble. You can either make him walk the plank, which ends the quest right here, or you can free him, in which case this lot are going to come wandering in. And once you've dealt with them, hopefully, not too much trouble, oh my god. We're stuck here. This could be a lot of trouble. Okay. Not as I wanted. But okay, we get the key. Which allows us to come through here. And just pick your way between the uh, lines of boxes. and you get back into the start area for some uh, optional extra XP. Just be careful with the uh, flame trap on here. You survived the Happy days. Back out into the uh, wilderness area. Okay, so we've two left to go. Building. Stands curiously alone. As mentioned, I already cold. did the uh, fire caves, so we're going to spare you that one. But we have um, the Scoundrel's Run and uh, Ghost of a Chance, don't we? Both round this side of the cove. So go and do the Scoundrel's Run first. I tend to like to do this area all in one shot. Now, uh, in company with some of the um, older content, the level range here is spread a bit. You've got things from five to seven. This is one of the sevens. It now serves to separate pirates from peasants. A strange pedestal sits in the middle of this room. So this one took me a fair old while before I memorized the, the path through it. The wiki is quite helpful for that. one of the easiest quests you'll ever see in game in terms of the actual combat challenge you will face but the challenge here is getting the right path I've said in a previous recording of this one, um, the hardest part, easily the hardest part, comes very near the start. With these um, earth elementals, now if they throw you on the floor and start uh, creating trouble, then it can be quite uh, tough. Like that. Okay, we outlasted them. Again, there it would be nice to have some kind of a colour spray thing to um, to stop them, because we that's that's a weakness of the the way I've currently set the stall out and I guess it won't be corrected the way I'm building until um, Burst of Glacial Wrath possibly in Epic so that's gonna be a recurring theme struggling against uh, elementals
Get the puzzle done here to uh, open the bridge up. The second part of the puzzle, I think, opens the little door at the bottom so that you can go and get the uh, the second piece of the uh, here idol here. The idol of the don't do like I have done in the past and forget some of the pieces on the way around because that's been done more than once not just by me that chest is a trap I think uh, a group of scorpions spawn if you try and uh, grab that and no I'm not going to demonstrate Curving back on ourselves now, going over the bridge. Again, I don't think that chest is a good idea, so we won't bother with that. This character is the toughest opponent, I think, in this quest. He's just strong. Now is where we're going to need our fire shield cold. These fire traps are going to hurt. But there are no monsters about, so we should get full benefit from our healing. Should we need to do so. Once you click the valve, the things turn off. The Thankfully, pick up the third piece, has been third piece. Retrace your steps. going up to this little section with the puzzle wheels. From memory the blue one gets pulled once but everything else four. Clearly control the four colours leading to the room containing the idol four. And the answer to that is in the wiki as well if you uh, if you're struggling. The idol of Halox, the idol is nearly complete. Only one Very often you can you can uh, if you're struggling for the way onwards. Look, the the only way we haven't been here is up this way. Actually, I think that's a good illustration of the weakness of the bard against the single targets. Now, we will address that matter in due course, but not until mid to late uh, heroic. The Storm Singer has some very good solutions for that problem. Keep saving then, why don't you? and click on the door here. Idol of head is At this point you could de-door back to the no. start room, save yourself a bit of time. Whoa, thanks for that. And as we don't have a D-door, we're just gonna have to walk back. The bard does get the D-door spell, so I totally will pick that up when we can. I haven't had the chance yet. I think it's a level 4 spell for the bard. Okay, 
see, just piece together the bits on here and we are done. Happy days. Well done. So we just got the um this mine has not been ghost of a chance to do around here. It now serves to this separate. is another one that's absolutely fiendish and epic. The traps in in some of these three barrel quests in Epic are just horrendous. This is a favourite vantage point of mine for some reason. We have a laugh with one of the bear party of all, always having to go and do the explorer rotten point on the rotten shark. So here we go. The shore one ah! After the captain okay. was seen purchasing four cases of an unknown, unknown beverage. beverage. Like the colour of the water here. Is drawn into an opening in okay, the so this is going to be the last one here. To wiggle through. Now there is a fiendish puzzle at the end of this one. I have tried to do it once or twice, but I much prefer the sort of work around it offers you. You, you, have, uh, you have a chance to get a key and just do it that way instead of uh, messing about for five minutes or whatever it is, sometimes longer, trying to piece together the puzzle. did see a reaper over there, yes. Let's see if we can target that bugger and get rid of him. Nice, yes, okay. Uh, displacement would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Thank you. Compound rumbles open. Oh, hello, Mister. I just decided to stand him up there and outlast him if we could. That wasn't the best strategy. Okay, let's just wait a moment, get our health back when we are deemed to be out of combat. <coughs> yeah, there's a lot of ranged in here, so I can see us getting quite some mileage out of displacement in this one. Oh, nice shot. I seem to have gone crazy on the breakables in this... Uh, this episode, I don't know why. It's very unlike me. Suddenly the clanking of Oh, that was a bad oh, What happened there? Yeah, not not all as planned, but okay. I guess we can say the storm singer is reasonably forgiving when you uh make uh, errors in the keys you notice a lever on the back of the ornamental statue there's quite a bit of stuff uh, that we see only a little bit or not at all here so be aware of that we've got some more there look Going a bit low on uh, mana as well. And that was a nice one. The uh, sonic blast twice stopped him in his tracks, just gave us a little bit of breathing room there. So 
interesting. Is there a lever to pull? Oh, I thought, yeah, I thought there was. I think a corpse was hiding it. Placement, you muppet. Strikey with a red crown behind us. Oh, yes. So that was the humble sonic blast saving our bacon there. So it does certainly still have some use. And I'm looking at our mana, and I am thinking that is a cause for concern. Oh, crud. I didn't realize this area was uh, inhabited. Come on, then, if you're coming. to go and get you. Okay. Let's take a shrine. Yeah, I think part of the reason for that is the displacement on on this short cooldown. And on this short duration, rather. Oh, respawn. Is that right? Okay. Uh, yeah. I didn't realize they could respawn in here. Or maybe they triggered by the using of the shrine. That's something new. Okay, let's be careful then. So we could be facing more things down here as well, I guess. It doesn't look like it. Oh, we've got Ransack already. Great stuff. So as far as I know, you have to go in here first and talk to the guy. Area calls out to you. Do not touch anything. One wrong move could kill me. Please speak with me And then say it looks too complicated and I'll be back. And then go and fetch the key. Now this, if you hadn't seen it before, is a big puzzle. And it takes quite some uh, some getting into. There are four corners, and in each corner you have to do some corrections to the puzzle to get the uh, the cage to open for him. So I find it uh, much easier, and I think most people do, to come wandering round here. We've got somebody else down here. Yeah, two somebody else. Wandering around here and fight the, uh, voice the captain guy for his room. key. Please come in. I would like to make the captain fellow. How dare you interfere with my operation? You defeated the captain and ended his illegal smuggling operation. Not sure what this lever does, but I tend to pull it anyway. And just be aware, there's, a, there's all, always a couple round the side here, waiting to ambush us as we come out. They usually follow us out. Here we go. And now with the key, we can. Uh, finish up
We just don't get the chests at the end for doing it this way. You have freed Barrier Warley from the ancient tree. Still, I think that was a pretty good operation. It's older content, so there's no uh, no great achievement to, to doing that on on Reaper 2 on a caster, but uh, I think uh, I think we look pretty good. The crowd control's holding up pretty well. The damage is uh, is decent. Found some nice little bits of gear to wear, so it's all uh, looking fairly rosy at this stage. I will hold off taking level eight. Hoping the game hasn't crashed, but I don't suppose it really matters. If it was going to choose a time for to crash, I guess this would be it. Um, I'm going to go into the uh, Feywild and try to find uh, not farm, but I'll run. I'll run most, if not all, of the quests and try and find a docent for the um, for the artificer life that we're eventually going to do. One of one of the docents in there. I don't even care which one. I would prefer it was a caster-related one if there is such a thing, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, <laughs> on this uh, crashy note, thank you very much as always for looking, and I will speak to you in the next one. Take care.